Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Redis tutorial for beginners. In the last few videos, we have seen how we can download and install Redis on our Windows, Linux and Mac operating system. Now further videos I will be making on my Linux operating system that is my Ubuntu operating system because more frequently or most frequently this Redis server is installed on a Linux machine and it's used from a Linux machine. So it will be more appropriate to go further with this Linux operating system. But all the command which I will be using on this Linux operating system using the command line are applicable on the Windows terminal also and the Mac terminal also. So the command will not change and you just need to start the Redis server and Redis CLI on your Windows or Mac OS and then follow these uh, instructions which I'm giving on my Ubuntu operating system. So if you are on Windows or Mac, you just need to follow the same uh, steps. You just need to open two terminals on your operating system. It can be Mac or uh, it can be uh, your Windows and of course the Linux. And on one terminal, you just need to start the Redis server so i'm going to just start the redis server here and on the other one you just need to start the redis cli okay so looks simple right the same step you need to do on your windows or your mac okay so once our server is running we can uh, minimize this and start working to interact with this server using the redis cli okay now let's start with the data types which are there in Redis and then we will see how we can use one of the data type which is string. So basically there are five data types which we can use in Redis. And as I already told you that Redis is a key value storage. So the key is a printable ASCII, right? And it can be up to 512 megabyte so it can take a really big uh, key for example and it should be a printable ascii and then we can see the data types of values so the values can be strings and then uh, the containers of strings so they can be uh, hashes or lists or sets or sorted sets right so the key are printable ASCII's we can uh, use printable ASCII's for keys and for values we can use strings hashes lists sets and sorted sets right and this uh, redis string can be up to 512 megabytes okay now let's start with the practical example so we will start with the basics and we will uh, try to set some values and get some values. So for example, I have set some values already to this uh, Redis uh, server. So what I will do is to get all the keys which are set, you just need to write keys and then the pattern which uh, is asterisk here. So asterisk is a wildcard and it's going to uh, search all the keys which are saved in your uh, database and then give you the result so for example i have set two keys which is name and name two and uh, it has given me both the keys which i have saved right so in order to uh, see all the keys which are saved in your uh, redis database you just need to write keys and asterisks right now as i already uh, told you that to set some uh, value as a string you just need to use set and then a key for example in this case i'm going to write name three because name and name one is already set so i'm going to just set the third key which is name three and then i'm going to give some name right and then press enter and then once again i will just write keys asterisks and now I can see there are three keys stored in my database, right? So set is to set a string value. And as you have already guessed 
from my previous videos i've shown you this command which is get command and whatever key uh, you will write here it will give you the value of that key which is uh, mark in this case right in the same way you can do name uh, two get name two and it's going to give you the value of name two okay so get and set we are already clear now there is a delete command del okay so using a del and uh, the key name we can delete some key value pair so for example i want to delete name uh, two for now and then i will just press enter it's going to give me the number of uh, keys affected and in this case there is only one key with the name two and now when i just do this command which is keys asterisk now it just gives me two values which is name and name three and because name two key is already deleted so i will not see this uh, name two again right in the same way for example i want to delete uh, name three key then also i can do del and then name three and then press enter and i can see the result one key affected and then now only one key left which is name okay so uh, this is how you can delete some value right now let's set uh, these names once again so for example name uh, tom and once again do the get for example get name now you will uh, see that the key value of name is overwritten with the name tom so previously the value of name was mark you can see here and now it's tom so whenever you set uh, the value of previously uh, set key then whatever value you will give uh, for this key will be overwritten right so value will be overwritten for that key now for example if you want to delete all the values which are stored in our redis database then we can use flush all command so for example i will set some more values uh, to see this example for example name 2 is equal to john and then i'm going to give name 3 is equal to max so now we have three names so we can uh, just give uh, keys and asterisk to see that so we have three keys stored right now for example i want to delete all these keys then i can give flush all so just write flush all command and then it's going to delete all the values so it says okay and then once again when we give keys asterisk then you can see empty list or set so all the values are deleted using flush all command so these are some of the most frequently used uh, commands which we can use with the strings in the next video also we will see some of the more commands which we can use with the string values so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now